Um, hello? Um, hello? 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 Um, hello. Hi, everyone. So, I haven't vlogged yet this month. I guess this year, for right now, I'm just vlogging once a month. And today, it's March 6th? 7th? March 7th? 7th. March 7th? And we're doing the Shamrock Run again for the second year. It's a four mile run here in Syracuse, New York. It's gonna be fun. Molly can't do it with me this year because she is taking her five hour course for driving. She's gonna be getting her license soon. But I have so much to update you guys on. I'll probably do a little update at the end of this vlog. How about that? So come with me for a fun, festive, Syracuse, St. Patrick's Day kind of themed day. I'm really excited. Running the race with Devin, my sister, um, Kristen and my Kristen and Michaela, my cousins. I was the 500th and second person to register. I never got a hundred, so I always get the, in the thousands. So, okay. I gotta finish pounding my coffee, drinking a little bit more water. My face looks really round. I think it's because I got this turtleneck situation going. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. The sun is deceiving. It is cold. And that's coming from oh, there me. Might even be parking at Blarney or near it. Last year there was. You can. Yeah, you can park anywhere you can find a spot. Pull in the parking. Okay. No parking. There might be. There is. You should have went in the other way. I'll back in. These girls will move. Oh, they'll move. Devin's doing the run. I know. <laughs> Look at her. And we're gonna. What? They're not the only ones here. They it's need to move them. out of the parking lot. They're in a parking space. Yeah, they are. They're in the last parking space, aren't they, or no? Devin and I finished. Devin did good. She went from the couch to the 5K. Slash four miles actually, not even the 5K. We did it like 1, 12, 30. So next year, yeah, one minute. So next year, Devin, we're gonna beat your time. Maybe we'll beat my, my time from last year. How about that? Let's do that. That's the plan. It's pretty cold still. No, I I don't it, it's cold. Hello everyone. So it's a couple days after the race, Monday. The race was Saturday. I did a terrible job at vlogging. I really did. I did not do good at all. I need to take this off. It is 64 degrees. But to recap, Saturday a little bit. So um, Devin decided to do the race last minute. I was kind of having anxiety about Molly not being able to do it because she had to do her five hour course for driving. Um, so I was a little bit nervous about Molly not joining me. I'm like, how am I going to finish this without her? I don't know what I'm going to do. My cousins did it. Michaela and Kristen. I'm going to start driving. Oh my god, Nala. I'm going to start driving because my neighbor's outside. So I texted Michaela on Friday night and I asked her 
is she would she would do the race with me not a race I keep saying race it's just a run if she would do the run with me and like we would jog for a little bit and then when I got tired we'd walk and then for every single hill this run is literally all hills so um for every hill I wanted to run down them and then just you know walk like power walk up them and then jog when it was flat so that was like my mentality going into it and I was kind of worried that I'd get left behind but then again like I said the day of Devin decided to do it my mom had registered because she wanted to get a shirt so she had an extra shirt for Devin to wear and you know the bib and all that stuff not that you really need it but Devin wanted to be official and be a part of the event so we had that for her to use so we did the whole race at Devin's pace race we did the whole run at Devin's pace four mile run we finished it one minute or one minute one hour 12 minutes and 30 seconds around there um, last year I finished in under an hour I wanted to kind of beat my time from last year but we really had to slow down go at Devin's pace Devin hasn't been working out at all I have I felt very energetic for the whole thing like I felt good I had a lot of anxiety going into the race that I like didn't want to do it I was like I'm just not even ready for this but I clearly was ready because mentally during the race like I wanted to go like I wanted to put my wheels on and go and I didn't want to leave Devin behind so long story short I didn't oh so, yeah sorry I'm vlogging everyone has their windows down because it's super nice out run to the bank for my husband so yeah guys I have not vlogged really at all this year I vlogged on my birthday and then for my father-in-law's surprise party and that was it so far this year and then obviously I vlogged this race because it was kind of like a monumental thing that I did in 2019 that I wanted to document again as a tradition in 2020 and I probably will every year that I do it so that's where we're at with vlogging now technically and like physically I don't have a computer to edit videos on Molly's computer is holding up pretty good but she needs it for school she's a junior in high school and she's so busy and I don't want to take her computer all the time like in order for me to like work at it in my leisure I would need the computer at my house like 24 7 and it's just not possible for me to take a computer all the time like it would be so convenient for me to use it like now while she's in school but I have other stuff to do so it just doesn't end up working out that way but when I can I'm gonna edit finish vlogmas up edit the two vlogs for my birthday and Keith's birthday and then obviously this vlog um, and then just so everyone that follows my channel is aware I have a trillion vlogs left over from last year that I literally vlogged my little heart out anticipating that my computer wouldn't have broken and also that I would get one this year and also you know I, I love vlogging it's been a part of my life for seven years I've been vlogging on this channel and I don't want to stop doing it but right now it's so difficult and I'm running out of memory and storage and places to put videos that I vlog and just getting so far behind that I don't want to keep accumulating footage that I have to edit from like a year ago. So my plan is to hopefully get caught up to date now and then I will start vlogging again once I get a new computer. I want to post all the videos from last year probably like about the same time that they would be posted this year and hopefully I'll be vlogging again by then because I think I got up to like the 4th of July or something like that. The 4th of July was like the next vlog that I was gonna post and then I don't even really know what happened. My computer died and I couldn't do anything on it anymore. I would export videos and they would just not only take like over a day, over 24 hours to save, but then my computer would shut off and I wouldn't even know it video didn't save at all it was it's, it's just a mess and at this point my computer is barely functional and it, there's no way I could edit a video on there it's very sad and financially Brendan and I are in a position currently to get a new computer we're getting hit hard by tax season 
this year and it really sucks because we're newlyweds and we you know, bought a house in 2018 and we thought that we were going to have a better situation coming towards us this year in 2020 but absolutely not it's definitely not happening and i'm getting hit a little bit harder with my paychecks because i'm paying for brendan's health insurance now so it nearly doubled but it's like a, another 150 dollars a month that i'm paying towards you know it's getting taken out of my paycheck hold on pause so yeah i'm just trying to get you guys like caught up with life everything is going pretty well this whole past two weeks i've been off from work and my goal was to like finish up all these vlogs that I had saved up and like I said it just didn't work out with mine and Molly's schedule like me vlogging. I also have been really struggling with my anxiety. It's been through the roof. Like absolutely terrible. Um, this past week it's been much better. I am trying to wean myself off my medication. And it just wasn't going so well but this week I finally better i've been taking my medication every other day and i'll probably call my doctor like next monday and see like should i just stop it now or what i don't know i contemplated going to therapy at one point a couple weeks ago all right hang on another second i'll be right back i don't even know where i was in our conversation i totally lost track of where we were friend and i are not in a position to buy a new computer at this time uh, maybe i can convince him in a week or two Right now, it's just not happening. But it is a beautiful day, so I am taking Nala, my dog, my two-year-old almost Rottweiler. She'll be two on Friday, so I'll probably vlog her second birthday, make it like a fun, special day. It's my one day off this week, and like I said, I've been off. That's what I was talking about. I've been off of work for the past 15 nights. This is my last night off on my break. It wasn't as productive as it to be but I needed to relax and just like not do anything for two weeks <laughs> I mean I did do some things like I I did a lot of weeding out of stuff some spring cleaning and such but I um, feel like I definitely could have done more but I didn't and I'm trying to give myself grace for things that I don't get accomplished and like forgive myself for things that I normally would get super upset with myself about and that also brings me to like my diet and fitness goals diet goals um, I'm trying to work on my relationship with food I realize that I definitely have some sort of binge eating disorder not where like I'm binging and purging or anything like that but I'm a binge eater I overeat I, it's to the point where I'm binging a lot of the time and that's where a lot of my extra weight is coming from because I'll eat really healthily I'll re eat really yummy meals like today I had the best breakfast ever I had some avocado toast with a bed of arugula and some tomato and eggs oh it was delicious and a little bit of turkey bacon absolutely delicious so oh that truck is really loud I'll start my days out with meals like that and then I like ruin it by eating loads of snacks or just really crappy stuff so I'm just trying to be more mindful when I eat which is like a big issue people have that binge eat and overeat is being mindful when they eat so I'm trying to develop a better relationship with food by being more mindful and just not looking at food as something that's so important like I put it up on a pedestal it is important I have to look at it as fuel and not like as comfort because I am an emotional eater I eat when I'm stressed which is like every single day like who it doesn't have a little bit of stress every day but everything will trigger me to eat more and more and more and it it's awful and I've been like this for most of my life I can't really remember too many times in my life where I wasn't like binge eating like this like especially in my later in my later 20s my early 20s I for some reason I didn't eat that much and I was probably at a healthy weight I ate regularly but I didn't like eat snacks all the time I just didn't have that stuff available to me in college god I gotta roll that up oh, I'm sorry oh 
I didn't have like a lot of snacks around in college, so I didn't eat snacks. I just had my three meals a day. I didn't exercise or do anything crazy. Um, but I found after I graduated SU in college for the first time that I loved weightlifting and Brendan introduced me to the gym and honestly when I graduated from SU I was at my heaviest because Brendan and I got in a relationship and we were just eating whatever we wanted for a while. Um, like more calorie dense foods than I was eating by myself. He liked, we liked to get takeout a lot. I don't want to say he, I'm not blaming anyone for the way that I am. This is a really long story. It's something I should actually sit down, do a sit down video about. But anyways, I'm just trying to heal my relationship with food. And I'm trying really my best at that. Feeling better about it already. We're on our way to the dog park. I'm going to eat these little flex, uh, pop. Flex chips that I got off of Amazon. I'm drinking some BCAAs to get a little bit more hydrated. And I have an orange too that I'm probably going to snack on when we leave the park. So I'm going to eat my little snack and I'll talk to you guys either later or in another vlog. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in a bit. What are you doing? Are you happy? Here they come. Another day at the dog park. Another day at the dog park. Oh God. Harry, go get him. Go get him, Harry. Alright, enough with the ball. Go play with dog. Nala, Nala, look at, look at this. Look at this, Dini. Nala. <gasps> wow, you got cute face. You got cute face. Oh you, okay? you got cute face. <laughs> Hello, anyone who is watching this. I'm looking absolutely horrendous right now, and I gotta tell you why. So, I came home from a very stress-free shift at work, and if you guys didn't know this, or whoever's watching this, if you didn't know this, I had been on vacation for the past 15 nights, and last night was my first night back, and back at the beginning of my vacation, I was experiencing a large amount of anxiety because I'm trying to wean myself off of my Lexapro, which I only take 10 milligrams of. So I started, I think, having it around the time of my vacation. And then last week, I started taking it every other night, half a milligram or well, half of a pill, which is five milligrams every other night. So that's where I'm at right now with that. I'm not feeling really any different than I was when I was taking five milligrams every day. Um, I am feeling different though than when I was taking 10 milligrams every day. I just feel so stupid even taking it because my doctor has told me before that I'm on a pretty small dose of it. And I don't know. I just feel silly taking it and I just don't want to take it anymore. With that being said, I am having really bad anxiety. I, I wouldn't say right now I'm having a panic attack, but when I first got home today, I really was having one. And um, I don't, I don't know. I just, I haven't slept yet. Since I've been home, I've been like pacing back and forth. I brought Nala over to my parents. Um, my dad is home. He's not, he's either not working today or he works later today. And he actually gave me a sleep aid. It was called, um, um, what was it called? I don't remember what it was called. It was basically melatonin chamomile and lavender like a very small dose so 
So I took that probably a little over an hour ago and I'm just not feeling calm at all and the sunshine is not helping me by any means. But I'm just having the hardest time right now. I look like freaking Gene Wilder and I feel like a crazy person and Go get him, Nala. Go get him. Go. Go get him. Hello, everyone. It's me, Casey. I don't think my lashes have ever looked worse than they do right now. Can you see that? Oh my god. I'm due for a fill, but I have no money, so I have to wait till next week. Guys, I hate my financial situation. It's too much. I'm terrible. I also hate when my ring flips the other way. I'm really frizzy today. But guess what? More importantly, this is the most important part of the vlog. It's Beanie's birthday! <gasps> yes, it is. Let me get her. <gasps> Say, Mama, it's my birthday. I'm two years old today. And we had a photo shoot earlier, and it was so much fun. And now we're going to go see Cuzzies for a little bit, and it's going to be good times. And then maybe later, we can go to the dog store. The dog store? <laughs> the pet store, and get a treat or something. I don't know. We'll see. Papa, um... Wait till Brendan gets home and we'll go together as a family. See what 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 new toy we can get for her birthday. Let her pick out something nice. So that's probably what we're gonna do. Last year we had a whole birthday extravaganza, but I don't have any money this year. I worked last night and I randomly have tonight off, so that's really nice. It's also Friday the thirteenth, which is I mean, always good luck for me, personally, but... Ooh, it's, um, Jake Owen, down to the haunted um, Friday, we call it the gateway... The sun the keeps coming in and out. The wolf. Man, I have to work tomorrow and Sunday, so Saturday and Sunday, which is gonna suck, but... Guys, this <laughs> COVID virus right now, the coronavirus, is ridiculous. Oh my god, all these kids are walking right down the middle of the road. Like directly down the middle of the street. And I don't know who they think they are. Little kids have no, like, what's the word? They don't care. They, they literally stare you down. They just all, six of them, stare me down. And also I pass them and they look back at me. Oh, I don't like it. Why are they doing this? How did my Molly get home? I don't understand. Anyway. Alright, I'm gonna... Go in, we're gonna see Cuzzies. Nobody else is home yet, it's only two o'clock. No, it's three o'clock, isn't it? Or is it two? No, it's, a, it's almost three. All right, anyway, the coronavirus is ridiculous and I hate it and um, it, <laughs> I, I can't really talk about it just because it's so irritating to me. All right, we're going in. Let's go see Cuzzies. Now they see you with your Cuzzies. Oh, the wind. No, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. No, I did know that. What do you mean? Yes, I did. There she's playing with her Cuzzies. Go get him, Nala. You see a happy girl playing with her Lou? Is it a happy girl playing with her Lou? What are you doing? Go get him. Go get him, dummy. Go get her. Go, Nala, go. Go get him. Go get Lou. Maybe Nala's birthday. But Louie's got all the toys. <laughs> Don't you, Lou? <laughs> You're so talented at hoarding all the toys.
Want to go get a puppuccino? Should we bring all the dogs to get a puppuccino? Somebody got fluff all over the floor. There could only be one culprit. Louie! Ask your mom if you can come with us. <laughs> For not his birthday. Go get a puppuccino? You want a puppuccino, Lou? Nala. Nala, you want to go in the car and get a puppuccino? Should we take all the dogs for a ride to get Puppuccino? Okay, let's go. We got all the mongrels in the back going to get Puppuccinos. <laughs> Lou, you're going to get Puppuccino. What is that, a chicken? A giraffe? Your birthday. The chew toy. Look at this birthday girl. Are we having a photo shoot? Do you love your birthday photo shoot? See, I'm a pretty girl. Look at Look at my bandana. It says, it's my birthday. Yes, you're such a good girl. Say, I'm cute today, Mom. And I love my birthday outfit. It's a birthday toy. Get it. Get it. Look oh. at We went to Pet Co. Where the pets go? We got... Treats. I wish you just waited five seconds for me no, to get situated. We gotta sing to her. We're gonna sing to you, I guess. We gotta yeah, put I your know. stuff back on you. Put the hat on. There, there we go. Anna. And you got your. He's like, oh, don't give me that shit. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay. Ready? Wait, I wanna take a picture of her like this with it. Sit. Okay. I know, I know. We gotta sing happy birthday. Look it, no sit, sit. No sit. <laughs> sit, sit. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. Okay, here, hold that, Papa. Hold on, we gotta sing. Ready? Ready? Happy birthday to you. Papa, she can't hear you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. The bean. Happy, Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? You want it? Huh? <laughs> yes. yes, Papa, you yeah. want it. No, I want it. Happy Yay! Nice and easy. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Papa, she can't hear you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nada Bean. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? You want it? Yes, Papa, you want it. No, I want it. Yay! Okay. <laughs> like a shot of whiskey burning going now burning going now chasing you like those goodbye tan lines anyways anywhere out of this nowhere town chasing that freedom chasing that feeling that got gone too soon chasing that you and me i'll always see in my rear view Holding someone new, still chasing you, still chasing you. We are out back, having a little fire. 
for Beanie's birthday on Friday the 13th. Ha, Beanie. <laughs> The only thing that bothers me is our pool, sir, just being back here like that. Drinking Bud Light Seltzers, they're really good. The Lich. And my roommate. Wow, it's cold. The wind is really... It's not like... Oh God, I know. It looks creepy. <laughs> yeah. It's a, a creepy looking tree now. I miss the willow. The willow is so pretty. Ugh. Say happy birthday, Beanie. We love you. Happy birthday, Beanie. We love you. Say it. We love you. Yep, bring the planes in. <laughs> or like an usher at, the, at Disney on ice. Is there a sparkler in there that you missed? Oh, is that? Oh, there might be. In the box? <laughs> oh no, it's down there. <laughs> oh, that was the other half of hers. I think oh. Does it have a good amount of that rainbow? Before? Yeah. Has she done sparklers before? No. Nice toe point. <laughs> <laughs>